Hello. This heat wave has barely begun, but already we're talking about a thundery breakdown overnight with muggy air in place across the country. Thunderstorms move north overnight, bringing with them lightning, hail and gusty winds. They begin in the southwest. Imported from France, those thunderstorms then move north across the country through the evening, southern and central England, Wales as well. They're hit and miss. You can see these are scattered blobs of blue, but they get bigger as they move north across the country. Bright blobs as well, indicating some heavy rain, but they do move f fast northwards across the country before exiting out of Scotland and Northern Ireland. Now, probably of more concern than the rainfall is the frequent flashes of lightning where these thunderstorms occur, as well as hail and gusty winds. So yeah, some places will avoid these storms entirely, but others, well, could catch a lively downpour or even some hail strong winds and lightning and could cause issues. A thunderstorm warning in force for much of the country overnight. Even if you're not woken up by the thunderstorms, it's going to be an un uncomfortable night for sleeping. Temperatures not far off the warmest night on record for London, 23 here. Yeah, we start off with that thundery rain, mostly across northern parts of Scotland, and it does quickly disappear through the Northern Isles. And then for the vast majority, it's another dry, and a largely sunny day. A bit more cloud there for central and western Scotland, Northern Ireland. One or two showers remaining. Not as lively as the overnight showers, however. And it's going to feel cooler in the west, but further east, 30 plus across the eastern parts of England, 35 Celsius there in Norfolk. The heat becoming confined to the east for Wednesday, but then the high humidity and hot air moves westwards again overnight. And you can see the clear skies extending widely across the country overnight, just some areas of cloud in the far west. Most places dry, but with that humid air moving westwards, again, it's another sticky one overnight. So we're going to see hot air drawn northwards from Spain into France and then extend widely across the country as this low pressure backs the winds across many parts of the country. And Thursday, very likely to be the hottest day of the year so far, if not the hottest day July has ever seen in the UK and possibly the hottest day on record for the UK. More on that in a moment, but you can see the extent of the sunshine across the country on Thursday, everywhere feeling very warm or hot. Just Western Scotland, Northern Ireland seeing a bit more cloud and the far southwest. That's where temperatures will be kept at around the mid 20s, but elsewhere, look at that, widely 30 plus Celsius from Southern Scotland into most of England, East Wales as well. And a zone of mid 30s from Northeast England into the Midlands and down to the southwest, Southeast of England but it's London where we're likely to see the highest temperature on Thursday. This is the most likely temperature, 38 degrees Celsius, and that gives us an 80% chance of breaking the July record, and there is a 40% chance that the 38.5 Celsius, the all-time UK record, will also be broken. So some truly exceptional heat on the way for Thursday. And it sticks around in the Far East for Friday, but elsewhere, potential for a thundery a breakdown Friday and into the weekend. Loads going on over the next few days. Of course, you will want to stay updated. And the best way to stay up to date with all the very latest weather information is by following us on social media. Bye-bye.